Do you often feel drained without any apparent reason? You're not alone. This exhaustion might be due to something called micro-stresses. These are small, often unnoticed stresses that stem from our routine interactions. They might seem inconsequential individually, but they accumulate gradually and can have a significant impact on our mental and physical health over time. A recent research study reveals that micro-stresses are a primary contributor to burnout, a significant issue in both professional and personal realms. In fact, burnout is so pervasive that two-thirds of individuals in large organizations identify it as a crucial factor that could lead to potential talent loss. Micro-stresses may be small in size but their cumulative effect can be quite substantial, draining our energy and undermining our overall well-being. Now that we understand what micro-stresses are, it's vital to learn how to deal with them effectively. The first step to dealing with micro-stresses is identifying them. It's all about being mindful of the little things that, day by day, contribute to our stress levels. Think about your routine interactions and behaviors. Is it the constant ping of email notifications? Perhaps it's the interruptions when you're in the middle of focused work. Or maybe it's the strain of frequent multitasking. These are all examples of micro-stresses, seemingly minor, yet they can accumulate over time, draining our energy. Once you've identified these micro-stresses, you can start to manage them. After identifying these micro-stresses, the next step is managing them. This process can seem daunting, but fear not. With a few simple strategies, you can effectively manage these pesky little stressors. Firstly, setting boundaries is crucial. This could mean carving out distinct time for work and personal activities, allowing you to focus on each without the other intruding. It's like having a do not disturb sign on your mental door when you're engrossed in a task. Secondly, prioritizing tasks can significantly reduce stress. This involves ranking tasks based on their urgency and importance. You'll find that not everything is as pressing as it seems, and this can be a real stress reliever. Lastly, it's essential to take regular breaks for relaxation and rejuvenation. This could be a five-minute meditation break, a quick walk around the block, or even a cup of your favorite tea. It's about giving your mind a moment to rest and reset. Remember, communication is key in setting these boundaries. Make sure your colleagues, friends, and family are aware of your boundaries and respect them. It's not just about saying no, but about saying yes to your mental health. Managing micro-stresses takes conscious effort, but it's a crucial step in reducing their impact. Identifying and managing micro-stresses is essential, but building resilience is equally important. Think of resilience as your personal stress armor, improving your ability to bounce back from the many battles you encounter daily. It's about how you recharge, not just endure. Now, how do we build this resilience? Let's start with maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep are the building blocks for a resilient mind. They keep your body primed to handle stress and recover quickly. Next, foster positive relationships. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, understand you, and inspire you to grow. Their support acts as a buffer, helping you navigate through the waves of stress. And lastly, cultivate a positive mindset. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Practice gratitude and mindfulness to stay grounded in the present moment. Remember, your perspective shapes your reality. Resilience doesn't happen overnight, but with consistent effort, you can build your ability to handle stress more effectively. Dealing with micro-stresses is an ongoing process, but it's worth the effort. We've taken this journey together, understanding the unseen yet palpable impact of these small routine stressors that incrementally take a toll on our overall well-being. We've unveiled the concept of micro-stresses and the surprising fact that these seemingly insignificant interactions can accumulate and lead to burnout, a major issue both in our professional and personal lives. We've learned that the first step to managing these micro-stresses is identifying them. By becoming aware of their existence and their source, we've taken the first step towards controlling their influence on our lives. Then, we dived into managing these micro-stresses, exploring practical techniques to reduce their impact. We learned that we have the power to control our reactions to these stressors and can employ strategies to reduce their frequency and intensity. Finally, we talked about building resilience. We discovered how cultivating resilience can serve as a buffer against micro-stresses, helping us bounce back from adversity and maintain a sense of well-being even in challenging times. But remember, managing micro-stresses is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and commitment. 
It's about making small changes in our daily lives that can lead to significant improvements in our overall well-being. So, let's keep the conversation going. Let's continue to explore, learn, and grow together. Because it's together that we can build a supportive and resilient community. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.